Hi and welcome to my video submission of Assessment Module 3. Uh, my name is Michael Lush and I'll be taking you through uh, my presentation through a, pres a PowerPoint presentation um, with a video uh, audio overlay. Um, I just wanted to initially start by reinforcing the topic I had selected and that was uh, is punishment an effective behaviour modification strategy in children? Um, I understood the intent of this assessment to perform a detailed review into the selected research paper, um, which I'll take you through shortly, uh, and intend to build a clear response to the below question, uh, whilst critiquing the paper for limitations and potential improvement opportunities. I'll um, use the PowerPoint slides to outline the, the main findings, the general areas or characteristics of of the paper itself um, and the last couple of slides will dive into some of the limitations and then the last slide will focus on the potential improvement opportunities as well. I just wanted to touch on the point here that there are many um, supplementary uh, studies that add um, to the same findings so the evidence that was um, portrayed throughout this document as well. I haven't listed any of those here, but it's um, it's important to note that um, the findings outlined in this document were uh, supplemented by other research papers as well. The cho choice um, was was outlined by punishment. So there are obviously many different types of punishment, and the intent here was not to go into the different types of punishment and their influence or impact on behavior modification. I wanted to focus today just on corporal punishment and the document chosen for critique and, and, and a bit of a deep dive was this corporal punishment in children's externalizing problems, a cross-sectional study of Tanzanian primary school aged children, authors on the screen. Um, I decided to choose this one. It really it followed the characteristics of a good research paper in terms of the skeleton or its structure. It's a nice recent and relevant document, but it's also international and quite interesting, a little bit abstract as well. It also provided significant limitations, which um, allowed for a good critique, I guess. The reason or rationale for this um, is quite obvious and pretty much as read. So it came down to proponents arguing that, that there is a strong relationship between the use of corporal punishment and improvement in behaviour within low socioeconomic nations. So this paper really set out to dive deeper into that theory whilst also looking at the relationship between corporal punishment and the externalisation of problems. So that leads clearly into what the hypothesis was um, and if you look at the second dot point, it's really around um, that there, the hypothesis that there is a strong relationship or correlation between corporal punishment and the improvement of behaviour prob problems in children in low socioeconomic nations. So in terms of the study scope, um, I think that was um, relatively well defined. Um, there was room for improvement there and really clarifying those boundaries of the study scope. So we can understand there it's corporal punishment in schools, in resource poor countries. Um, the resource poor countries really opens up for a, um, a raft of variables in terms of um, the literature and, and research. Participants, um, in a general overview of the method of research, I thought this was well done and, and actually adding to one of the strengths of this document um, sorry, on the last slide as well, they discussed the hypothesis um, right at the beginning of the document and they consistently challenged it right throughout the paper or, or that as one of the strengths of this research paper. Um, the other strength there on the top dot point is that uh, 409 students and a, a reasonable size participation rate and a good spread between boys and girls as well. Um, ranges from year two to year seven with an average age of 11 years old, just under 11 years old. So there was a good um, spread of uh, and participation rate as well. A team of two Tanzanian and uh, five psych, uh, German psychologists, uh, two Tanzanian psychology students as well, conducting structured interviews in Swahili. The two Tanzanian psychologists acted as a lead or coaches and they did the, the pre-planning and um, sessions around coaching around what the questions were going to be etc to try and reduce the amount of um, variables that would limit the control of this study as well. Some of the key findings um, that were made clear towards 
the end of this paper was that there was a strong correlation between punishment and the externalization of problems. So they did manage to challenge the hypothesis here clearly on that point. Um, what I found interesting throughout the document was that there was a very high rate um, of corporal punishment in schools and home at, in Tanzania. And that led to some of the conclusions as well. So nearly 95% of the children had experienced corporal punishment in their lifetime and 50% of respondents in the last year at home as well. Led to the clear conclusions that there's a need to inform parents, teachers and government organisations around the employment of non-violent methods. Um, and I quite... Uh, I felt a, a, an honest application of some of these conclusions as well around the, um, a, a true want to improve the current situation within this particular school from the authors. Um, they show there was a negative correlation between corporal punishment and pro-social behaviour and they really challenged this generalised perception uh, at the school amongst these children and parents that the use of corporal punishment was accepted and effective basically. In outlining the limitations of this research, it's very obvious um, straight off the bat, as we said before, that um, the number and school that was only one private school studied, so not a public school, and only one school in one town. That leads to, you know, um, obvious gaps in um, and a generalised um, study rate. So the general prevalences uh, cannot be determined from this um, data alone. The design of the study doesn't allow for the establishment of causality. Uh, this is quite a subjective report, uh, therefore cannot completely rule out social desirability. A large variance of the homes and establishments from which the children come from. I think 16% came from uh, institutional care. Um, so obvious gaps in the research there. A further study should be aimed at the association between corporal punishment by teachers and the externalisation of problems, particularly in public schools. Thank you very much.